good day tonight, Brenda. Oh, thanks, Nick. Above average. Yeah. Well, uh, can I get you anything? You hungry? Yeah. Come here, Morgan Stern. <laughs> hey. Oh, Lenny. No, Nick. No, 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 Lenny, Lenny, what are you doing here? Well, I tried calling you, and when there was no answer, I started thinking something terrible happened to you. I guess it did. You were out with someone else. Hey, hey, no problem. Uh, Nick Lobo, huh? Lenny Fiedler, huh? <laughs> Lenny, can I talk to you, please? I don't know how you can go out with him. Look at his feet. He doesn't deserve a girl like you who's beautiful from the top of her head to her toes. Lenny, you promised no toe talk in front of strangers. <laughs> Look, Lenny, you just can't stay here. You have got to leave right now. Okay. Will you leave with me? Oh, Lenny, you have got to get out of here. How'd you get in here in the first place? Carlton let me in with his passkey. There's a funny story to it. I don't want any funny stories. It's short. You see, he had a passkey on this rabbit's foot keychain, and he kept trying to put the furry part into the lock. <laughs> Don't make me leave you two alone, Brenda. Lenny. Hey, uh, what's wrong with my feet, huh? <laughs> nothing, nothing. They're great. Lenny, you've got to stop with this jealousy of yours. Really, really, Len. Goodbye. So long. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, if I had to apologize every time some weird, funky chick wanted to play fast and loose with me, that's all I'd be doing, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, Nick, can I take care of one more thing? Hey, totally no sweat. <laughs> uh, Carlton? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Yeah, uh, Carlton, what's the idea of letting Lenny in when I wasn't here? But he said he loved you. We don't get many of those. Uh, Carlton, Could I... we cut this short? I got some guys from Goodwill coming out from a pickup here. Carlton, I... Carlton, oh, boy. Oh... <laughs> Oh, you have no idea how wonderful this feels, and I need it. Things like this really depress me. Oh. Depression, yeah. What? What happened? Why'd you stop? I was just thinking about how, how sometimes I get depressed. You know what I do? What? I start thinking about other people's hassles. You know, I, I go to the window, I look down, and I say, Hey, dude, in the tenement, you got 12 kids and no job. Hey, old man, you old. <laughs> hey, chick in the street, your body has gone bad. Well, then what? Then I feel great. I mean, compared to those losers, I got it made, you know? Yeah. Try it, you're gonna feel terrific, honestly. Really works, come on. Okay. <clears throat> hey, girl down there. How do you stay so thin? <laughs> oh, look, 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 there's Rhoda and Joe. Oh, they're holding hands and stuff. Look at them. God, I'll never have a relationship like that. You know, everybody in the world is better off than I am. Hey, uh, little fox, can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. You are the biggest drag I ever dated in my life. I know that. <laughs> I want you to know I don't usually do this. I mean, invite my dates into my apartment, but I like your looks. Rhoda, you know something about you? I never you know You like me, when... huh? You think I'm kooky? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I think you're one of the kookiest ladies I ever met. Come here. Oh, I think I should warn you before you try touching my body. It's a well-known fact that the girls in my neighborhood from the Bronx uh, never get physically aroused. Sorry, kiddo. Why don't you just stay out here like a good boy while I slip into something flannel? <laughs> How about some music, huh? Yeah, music, uh, incense, candles. Let's pull out all the stops, huh? Joe, turn up the music, huh? I can. It's not here. Joe! Joe! Hey, Joe. I Listen, I was just about to put my earrings into the jewelry drawer. There was no jewelry drawer. You've been hit? We've been hit. There's no stereo. They got our records. They got the television. Oh. I don't understand this. How could someone do something like this? I don't like these people who did this. Rhoda, just, just take it easy. Just take it easy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will, Joe. 
I can't. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What do we do in a spot like this? What do we do? You call the cops. Joe, it's wonderful how you know exactly what to do for every occasion. <laughs> Rhoda, Rhoda, you have to listen to me now. Now, are you listening? Yeah, yeah. I... Now, I understand how you have to hold on to me, and I want you to hold on to me, but you'll have to grip me a little less tightly because you're forcing my watch into my wrist. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. Did I let go yet? Yes. I just can't help this. I, 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 I hoped that you would never see this side of me, Joe, but see, when things like this happen, I just freak out. I totally freak out. The idea of someone coming into our home, breaking in, and then digging in our drawers, touching everything that we own. I mean, it's peeking in our closets, thinking yuck thoughts. Hello. <laughs> My name is Joe Gerard, and I want to report a burglary. I don't believe this is happening. I don't. I never believe it when people steal. Right. It's 332 now, West 64th You Street. read about it, but you never really yeah. believe that it's going to happen to you. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Come? I mean, I didn't believe it in the third grade. But tomorrow, when the next Debbie day. Debbie Rittman stole my now, lunch no, me pail. and my wife both <laughs> worked. So I was very hard to accept. Do you understand? I have to know. I hope she time. choked on that salmon sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's a right. terrible thing to say now. now but Rhoda. she always liked my lunch pail, Debbie did. She did. It, was, it had Roy Rogers and Dale Evans on it. It was very... Please, relax. What, Rhoda. what? Relax. How am I supposed to relax? Every time everything's going real good, some off the wall crazy thing like this has to happen. I can't help it, Joe. I'm. 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 I'm don't I'm, get hysterical. That's it. I'm hysterical. And don't. What do you mean? Don't get hysterical. You don't say that to somebody who's coming apart at the seams. I can't help being hysterical, Joe. You know what's crazy? I'm watching myself. Inside of me, there's this calm, steady, even person, and she's watching me go nuts. <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, I, 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 and I, she can't seem to get control. Well, so, what do you want me to do? You want me to slap you? No, no, slapping. What then? I, uh, kiss me. Kiss you. Why do people always want to hit? Look how nice this was. <laughs> Yes? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Oh, Carlton, I want to talk to you. Oh, I want to talk to you, too. See, your sister's a little upset with me, and I wondered if you could kind of smooth things over. You know, I want to get it straight with her before Christmas gift-giving time. Carlton, Carlton, listen, I don't want to discuss this with you now. Hey, you know, wait a minute. I mean, I interrupted my dinner so those Goodwill guys could make a pickup at your place. You owe me this one. What? What? Did... Did you let people into this apartment tonight? Yeah, three guys. Carlton, the place was burglarized tonight. Oh, gee, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, how about fixing things up with your sister, huh? You let the burglars in! You fool! Those men weren't from the Goodwill, Carlton! Carlton, Carlton, I have taken up a, a, a lot from you. I have put up with a lot, a lot, a lot. And this time I'm not. This time I'm going to do something about it. Oh, yeah? Like what? <laughs> oh, oh, like I'm going to call the super. Yeah, and the owner. I'm going to tell them both what you did. Oh, yeah? Well, just go ahead. It's your word against mine, and who's going to believe you? <laughs> Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Wait, that's not a friendly knock. I'm calling the police. It's the police! Oh. Who says they're not around when you need them? Let's see some identification. You got anything besides a diner's club card? It's the next card down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry to disturb you folks at this hour, oh, but... Oh, that's uh, okay. We're always up at this time. We're practicing to live on a farm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, nervous. When I'm nervous, I make jokes. <laughs> it's nice to find a victim with a sense of humor. I'm Detective Lale. This is my partner, Detective Parker. I see. Hi. I'm, uh, Rhoda, I'm Rhoda Gerard, and this is my partner, Joe Gerard. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't we have you fill out this theft report form and let you get back to what you were doing? Wait a minute, aren't you going to look for clues? Fingerprints? I mean, like the guys that we see on television? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is it? Some police joke or something? What? Well, see, a lot of people think that police officers are like the guys they see on television. Uh, so let me set you straight. I mean, we're not like the guys on Police Story or Adam 12. Yeah, we're not like the guys on Hawaii Five-0, uh, Dragnet or SWAT. And we're not the guys on The Rookies or Bonnie Miller. And we're not Beretta, or uh, McLeod, Tannen, Harry O, or Mannix. Hell no, we're Kojak. 
Look, uh, we just got robbed, so uh, if you could just do whatever it is you do. Uh, do you mind if we sit? Oh, no, please no. sit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's everybody sit down, sure. huh? <clears throat> All right, now let's see. Uh, we want, we'll need a list of what was taken, the value, and the serial numbers if you got them. Okay. Uh, well, they took all my jewelry. Could you describe it? Uh, simple, very tasteful, not gaudy. <laughs> uh, at least a hundred bucks worth. Miscellaneous jewelry. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff. They got uh, stereo, a TV, an antique mirror, a radio, uh, the blender. Joe, not uh, the blender. Yeah, I'm afraid so, babe. Aw, gee, I never got to use puree. <laughs> Listen, uh, why don't we leave you with this form and can fill it out and send it in, okay? Right, right. You guys probably want to get back on the streets and find those guys that did this. <laughs> right? Find the guys? Do you have any idea how hard that is? <laughs> Hello, Carlton. Goodbye. This is Carlton, your person. Person? Carlton, please. I have police officers here. I have no time for games. What do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that I'm no longer your doorman. I have been terminated. What? Don't apologize. I don't hold anything against you. I am too big a person to bear petty grudges. So I'd just like to leave you with one final thought. <laughs> to feel guilty about Carlton. Brenda, I got the poor guy fired. I mean, other people could start drinking. He can't even do that. Yeah, it's pretty hard to end up in the gutter when you never really left. <laughs> but there's no reason to feel guilty. Absolutely none. The man let burglars into my apartment. Right. Hey, what's in this? Oh, you must have mine. Wait a minute. What'd you put in here? It's just black coffee with one lump of Milky Way. <laughs> I had it in the cupboard, and I knew that I would eat it, so. Brenda, listen. Melting it in your coffee doesn't make any difference. Fat is not easily fooled. <laughs> yes? Miss Morgenstern, I am detaining a gentleman caller in my lobby. A Mr. Nick Lobo. <laughs> oh, thank you, Raymond. Do send him up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I better leave, huh? No, I just stay and say hi to Nick. Oh. Nick's very fat. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> Lenny! Hi, Brent. Uh, Rhoda. Well, well, hi, Lenny. I told the guy in the lobby that I was Nick Lobo. I was afraid if I said it was me, you wouldn't let me come up. I was clever, Len. Uh, so, Lenny, what's new? I got arrested. It isn't anything you do with feet, is it? <laughs> no, I... I got arrested for burglary. I guess the cops asked Carlton for a description of who he let in the building the other night, and he described me. How long were you in jail, dear? A few hours. <laughs> but they were hours of anguish. The police threw me in the back seat of their car. I pleaded with them not to put me back there, but they wouldn't listen. I was car sick all the way to jail. <laughs> it was awful. Oh, Len. Lenny! You get hungry for a woman when you're behind those gray walls. <laughs> Yes? Is your sister there? The one who blew the whistle on Carlton. <laughs> yes, Raymond. What is it? I just sent an elderly woman up to your apartment to see you. Well, who is it? It's Carlton's mother. Oh. I love my life. I have a wonderful life filled with moments such as these. Brenda? You're looking at a new Lenny. What are you talking about, Len? I mean, I'm sorry Rhoda has trouble, but I couldn't wait for her to leave because I learned a lot of new stuff in the slammer. Yeah? What kind of stuff, Len? I learned how to make a woman passionate. Oh, you did, huh? <coughs> yeah. I hate to do this to you, Brenda.
I'm waiting. Wait a minute. Maybe this is how to crack a safe. Carlton's mother. Are you Mrs. Gerard? Yes, I am. <laughs> you know, uh, some people shake hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promised Carlton I wouldn't let my temper get the best of me. Uh, why don't you come in? Can I uh, take your bag for you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please sit down. Uh, any place you feel like. Just pick any place at all. <laughs> you smoke? Uh, no. Your husband? No. You mind if I take this then? <laughs> uh, 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 yes, yes, excuse me. Actually, I, I would like to keep it around, you know, uh, just in case I start which I may do any second now. Hi, um, I came to discuss two matters with you. Shall I start with the most important one first? Yeah, sure. Would you like to buy a blouse? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I, uh, 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 I'm trying to cut down on my clothing budget. <laughs> Well, this is almost new. I just found it yesterday. <laughs> well, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm a busy woman, and today is trash day. Can we get right down to business? Sure, yeah, but, but before we do, uh, can I get you anything? Uh, I, I just made some tea. Uh, do you have any spare meat? <laughs> Bear meat? Well, if not, the tea will do fine. <laughs> you see, in my business, we have a saying. Don't throw things away. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a very good saying, uh, very wise. Yeah, you threw my son away. My boy's out of a job. It's not easy for a mother to sit by and watch her son get the shaft. <laughs> uh, sugar? Oh, certainly. <laughs> You want to look at my bag? May I? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, about my boy. Now, look, I I'm really sorry that he's out of a job, but do you know what Carlton did? <gasps> Don't be a snitcher. <laughs> I can't stand stool pigeons and tattletales. Never could. But, but you don't understand. Your son let burglars into my apartment. Did he ever let a rabid dog in here? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I would have remembered that. Okay, then. If, let's say, he let a large German shepherd in here and uh, bit, bit some people who later died, then, then I would say you were right to snitch on But this other matter, it was just an honest mistake anybody could have made. A mistake? He let three men without identification into our apartment. Oh, and by the way, it turns out that one of the men was wearing a stocking over his face. <laughs> you have to have a little understanding of my boy. You know who his father was. No. Me neither. <laughs> I remember. 
remember the day Carlton decided to be a doorman? Carly was just a little tight, and we were walking uptown when we passed this fancy apartment house, and Carly took one look at the doorman, and he says to me, Mommy, he says, that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be a cowboy. <laughs> well, I had to explain to him it was a doorman, not a cowboy. And the rest is history. It's a shame. He might have made a great cowboy. <laughs> Mrs. Gerard, can I level with you? Level with me? What have you been doing? Beating around the bush. You hit me with your shopping bag. On the leg. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I want you to get Carlton his job back. Well, you know, I can't do that, even if I wanted to. Oh, sure you can. I checked with the union. You withdraw your complaint, they'll get Carlton his job back. What do you say? Gee, I, I'd really like to try to get you s to understand my position here. See, I don't like to get anybody fired. And, and it's not that your son is, is not a colorful guy, but... <laughs> See, he did something seriously wrong that I had to complain about. And now that I have complained, I can't just withdraw it. You see, I've been working on myself lately a lot about things like this. <laughs> trying not to be so influenced by other people, you know? Trying to have confidence in what I think. I understand. Oh, thanks for seeing my side. Yeah, I, th I really appreciate it, really. Call up and get called in his job back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, it's been nice meeting you, Mrs. Gerard. You have an old lady's blessing on your head, on your husband, and on your house. You got anything else you want me to bless? Uh, no, thank you. You want some advice from somebody older than you are? Who's lived a long life? I know, thank you. Yeah, you're not as dumb as I thought you were. Thank you. I'm a really very good judge of people, and most people are very different from me, but basically, basically, you and I are exactly... Wait! I have done everything you've asked me so far. I'm asking one thing in return. Don't finish that sentence. <laughs> okay. Carly, everything is fixed. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Okay. See you. <laughs> <laughs>